Hi, I'm Ray, G4NSJ. I want to talk to you about noise. Right, this is one of my rants. <laughs> no, I'm not going to rant, but only a little bit. Noise. My favourite band is, or was, top band. Okay, that's my favourite band. Completely wiped out. Local noise, just absolutely wiped out. I can't use top band anymore. 80 metres is similar. Wiped out. Um, five megs, you get up to five megs, you know, the five meg frequencies that we're allowed to use. A 60 meter band as it's now called I've got something interesting there it's been there I think for three maybe five years I can't remember to be honest I've had noise for so long I just can't remember when this particular noise started I've always used my Kenwood um, TS 570D I've got two one here one over there this is for listening only one over there is for rabbiting as well as listening okay and Obviously, it hasn't got a, a display. It hasn't got the waterfall display, the spectrum analyzer. Uh, so I, I'm unable to see what's happening. Now, since I bought the ICOM 7300, which I'm going to show you a video clip of any second now, I can actually see where the noise is. And it's quite incredible. Watch the first clip here. I don't know how clear this is going to be on the camera, but there's a band of noise here. Look. See that band of noise? If I tune there. There it is. 20 over 9, okay. And tune out the other side. normally that band of noise is here right on the calling frequency 53985 but it's moved up here there it is so what is it and what are these what are these lines here huge interference have a look um, what's that At the moment it's clear. Fortunately the noise blanker does that which is useful. There's the noise blanker off. I've noticed that uh, Volmet has been distorted recently and uh, I wonder whether it, it was something to do with my end but no I heard some people on uh, 5 megs the other day talking about Volmet and they were saying how distorted it has been recently but uh, doesn't it show you how well the noise blanker works it works on the Kenwood that's got a noise blanker but nowhere near as good as the I mind you the Kenwood's 15 years old this is only a few months old okay people are going to say oh have you tried this have you tried that i've done all this before i've had emails before about noise i've tried everything i've switched the mains off to the entire house and run the radio from the battery uh, still it's still there it's not so it's nothing in the house i don't know whether it's next door i don't know where it is but i've i've tried everything i've gone outside with a portable radio on hf i've tried to track it down and it seems to be a, a blanket of noise. I can't direction find it at all. It's just it, wherever I go, it's there. Uh, as you get a little bit further away, it does become slightly directional. But it's, I don't know what it is. It seems to be covering a huge area here. Um, OK, have a look at the next clip. I forget what this one's, the same thing, but uh, I forget what uh, point I'm making. But have a look. If I go up to... Uh, Shannon Volmet here you can see the band of noise down here okay if I go to RAF Volmet there's the signal there's the band of noise now in a minute that will move up there and block out Volmet 
but it will free up the 5 meg calling frequency. There we are, it's just, oh, it's moving up. Just blocking that out now, moving up. Let's go down to 5 megs. There we are, it's clear. It's moved up. I suppose it's quite handy that it moves about. It, it's the bandwidth of the noise stays the same. Oh, it's about, I can't remember, is it 40 kcs? It, but it goes up and down, it's strange. Uh, I've noticed on Hack Green, I listened to five megs on Hack Green, mainly for propagation. See how well I can hear myself. And in recent weeks, uh, where are we? Coming to the end of June. Yeah, July, uh, July, I think, in a minute. The recent weeks in June, this is 2022, by the way, if you're looking at this in years to come, it has been pretty poor. I, sometimes I can barely hear myself on Hack Green, whereas normally I go belting for, you know, nine plus. So on Hack Green, though, I've also heard a buzzing noise, which is uh, rather strange. And a friend of mine lives two miles that way, he on and off as a buzzing noise. Now I haven't, I don't know whether he's got the, uh, the, the waterfall display to have a look. I must ask him, but I wonder, is it just me or is this sort of nationwide, worldwide even? There's another noise, a new noise that has popped up as well. <laughs> oh dear, I don't know. It's dreadful really, isn't it? When you think about it, it's absolutely dreadful, all this noise. Just have a look at the new noise that's popped up on the next video clip. Now that that noise there, that band of noise is still there, but this has just popped up here, look. That noise, let's tune around that. There it is. That, um, sorry about the reflection of the light. Look, 20 dBs over S9. And it's down here as well. We've got the lines that were here before, but it's also there down there. Let's go down there. There it is again. There. So I don't know. I just don't know what's going on. Power supplies, goodness knows what. By the way, this is my receiving section. All this is receive only. The, uh, the actual shack if you like, is over that side. It's, it, I call this my radio room, not a shack. So I've got all the gear over there for chatting to people. Um, yeah, that noise, that's a new noise that's popped up. I made a note of the time that it came on. And the next day, I just you know, listening again, but it didn't. So it's not something on a time switch, like outside lighting in the evening or something like that. I don't know what it is. It does sound to me very much like these little plug-in AC adapter things, uh, you know, the phone charger type things. Um, to be honest, as, as I said, this noise is not good enough. It's totally unacceptable. I, it's, in fact, it's disgusting that in this day and age, we import so much junk, right, from China. I mean, it works, yeah, don't get me wrong, it works. But they don't seem to think of interference. I suppose the majority of people, how many people in my street listen to shortwave? They tune around the HF bands. I doubt there's one, it's only me. So it doesn't affect people. And if it doesn't affect the majority of people, well, forget it, no one's interested. This is the problem. But it is disgusting that in this day and age that you know, huge chunks of the spectrum all over the HF spectrum are wiped out with noise from this imported stuff yeah the stuff works well but I, I don't know it's it's too cheap it's too nasty i don't like it having said that i mean i've got the chargers you know i've got to having said that i've got phone chargers and whatever you can't get away from it completely who's that that's that's the coast guard sorry about that so there we are if you've got any similar noise, the whole point of this is, uh, if you've got a similar noise, it's just so we can compare. I had to turn that off. But I've noticed that one or two of the, the lifeboats, their, their audio is muffled or distorted. I think they've got the mic here and they're shouting into the mic, probably because they're out at sea. 
But there we are. I'm about to do another video. Look at that. Look, that's a sounder. The old telegraph sounder, which I've just hooked up to that old key. I refurbished this. I put it on a base. I, it was all rusty. I've stripped it down and done it all up. So I'm going to do another video about that in a minute to bore you even further. I'm bored enough, you're thinking. Anyway, there we are. Have you got a band of noise like that that moves up and down? As I said, it's quite handy it moves because I look on 5 megs and uh, where's the noise? Oh, look, it's up there. I can chat to someone on 5 megs, hopefully for a while, before it comes down and then I can't. <laughs> I mean, the noise blanker I can use, but even that, it does, you know, it's best without the noise blanker, if you see what I mean. Right, I've waffled enough. Thanks for watching, as always. I shall see you next time with my telegraph sounder it's a what is it sounder relaying type a there you go see you next time take care bye bye for now